Hi, I'm Ben Sinclair, and this is a series of videos made for Eastern Washington University's MPH program on using EpiInfo. <coughs> In this video, I want to uh, use EpiInfo to calculate means and compare means, and uh, we'll see a variety of test results along those lines. All right, so let's open up EpiInfo here. We're going to use the. We'll be using the Visual Dashboard to uh, to do our analysis today, and I'm using the E. coli data source that is comes with EpiInfo to as a practice uh, data set. <coughs> All right, so let's start out by um, right clicking and we'll add analysis gadget means. So the very basic, and it's very basic, this simply can, this gadget simply gives us the mean. Let's say we want to know the mean of the age of people that were surveyed. We can click run. It tells us um, that there were, there are 356 records, observations, the mean <coughs> of age is 36 and a half. <coughs> um, and then it gives us, you know, 25 percentiles, uh, minimum, maximum, the median age, and the mode as well. Uh, all in one handy little place. All right, so let's uh, let's click this properties button here. And we will let's change this up a little bit. Actually, let's just uh, we'll go ahead and leave this one up. Let's let's put a new means gadget. Just leave that one on our dashboard. So we'll add we'll add another means gadget here. <coughs> and this time, I think what we'll do is we'll choose ill here in the means box. And click the advanced options button to expand this, give us some few more options. <coughs> and here we've got options. We can weight the the this the means variable. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, but I would like to um, or you can also stratify it if you want to see um, for instance, how many females versus how many males are in a group. <coughs> so, I'd, what I want to do here is I'm going to I'm going to choose this the cross tabulate box here, and I'm going to um, cross tabulate the illness by gender uh, here, sex right here. <clears throat> and I'm going to leave this box checked that says Display ANOVA Statistics, and we'll hit Run. All right, so now what we've done here is basically it's giving us two groups, showing us two groups, females who were ill and males who were ill. And it's telling us there were 186 females that were ill, 173 males that were ill, gives us mean, variance, standard deviation, um, <coughs> uh, minimum, max, median, and mode. In this case, um, one of our variables isn't numeric. Well, neither of our variables are numeric, so these sort of, they've just defaulted to one. Um, and that, that's another, that's and that's a good point here to remind you that EpiInfo runs a lot of these tests um, all at once for us, which is convenient, but then it relies on you to understand the nature of the data you entered and to then choose which statistics are most appropriate to match that data. So obviously, since we don't have numeric um, variables in this case, it's not going to do us very much good um, to try
try to figure out what the, the, the mode uh, or median is. Um, and this data set, uh, this E. coli data set is just sort of randomly created, and, and so sometimes the answers you get on it aren't, don't make sense very much anyway, just because of the way it was created. Um, but it's useful for us to, to see what's happening. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to we'll keep going here. I'll scroll down. Um, so when we ran this test in the means gadget, we've also we've also been given a t-test result <coughs> that's comparing uh, by a couple of different methods. Compares the two groups. Um, it gives us um, a mean of the variation between the groups some confidence intervals, um, standard deviation. Here we've got the T value uh, and a, a P value as well for those results. <coughs> the means gadget also runs an ANOVA test for us, um, giving us the sum of squares, F statistic, and a P value. Um, here we've got a chi-square value again, um, and along with a matching p-value for that, uh, for the Bartlett's test uh, for inequality of population variances. <coughs> um, here we've got the Mann-Whitney-U or Wilcoxon two-sample test results as well, um, with n resulting p-value from that test. Uh, again, uh, EpiInfo just crams whatever variables you give it into these tests uh, without making a determination about the appropriateness of the test matching the variables. And so it really comes down to uh, the user needs to understand when each test should be used and with what kind of variables. So. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video.